A latest from the trial of former Oshkosh West student Grant Furman. Furman is charged with first degree intentional homicide in the attack on former school resource officer Michael Wissink in December of 2019. Now today wrapped up the first week of this trial, but the day did end earlier than scheduled with the judge dismissing jurors before 11 a.m. Our Brittany Schmidt was in court today. so. Let's start, Brittany, with that. The early dismissal, what happened there? Right, so after they let him go for a break around 10 15, the, um, we know that the prosecution is not done resting its case yet. They still have more people that they are going to call to the stand. We expect that to happen next week. But the defense brought up a concern before the judge, which is not unusual. Sure. They took kind of a sidebar, they talked about it. But the judge decided that instead of making the jurors wait all day for him to look at other case studies and look at really where to decide and what to do, he decided to dismiss them so he has the weekend to look over everything and then on Monday he'll make his decision. Okay, so does this early wrap up today have any impact you think on the timing of this trial? We know it was scheduled for three weeks. Could this move that window at all? The judge says no. He okay. says they're ahead of schedule so he is not expecting it to go longer than three weeks even wrapping up earlier. All right, so there was testimony this morning. Yes. We're looking at some of the images now mm -hmm. from the court this morning before this incident, the sidebar took place. So who, who was on the stand today? What stuck out to you? Sure, so there were three people that were called to the stand. There was a former detective with the Oshkosh PD. Um, she testified that she was the one who rode with Wissink in the, in the ambulance to the hospital. She was the, actually the one who um, had his um, firearm his duty firearm and she rendered it safe and then she gave it to the DCI agent who also testified today saying that he took that into custody and then put it into evidence. Um, the other testimony that we heard today that they kind of focused on was um, a former Oshkosh West teacher and okay. he, his name is Daniel Powers and he was actually the teacher um, where Furman was the n day that the attack happened. Okay. So he was in his classroom before he, before the okay. attack. Yep. So um, and he told the prosecutor today that he didn't notice any unusual behavior. So first period wraps up around 850 and he said it's not unusual for Furman to go take a walk or head down to the office or visit Wissink. He said it's pretty normal and then he would come back for second period. So he didn't notice anything unusual the morning of the attack on December 3rd. Okay. So you mentioned earlier uh, that you don't think this is, and the judge said this isn't going to impact anything, mm -hmm. and the, the prosecution still has, in your estimation, how much longer do they need to present their case? How many more days will they go, do you think, before the defense gets to take over? The prosecutor said um, they could be looking at four witnesses on Monday, two to three on Tuesday, okay. and then they'd probably wrap their case. So you could expect the defense to then be able to call their witnesses, I would say, midweek. It could be earlier than that. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens. All right, Brittany, thanks so much for that update. Let's turn.